crap out of him to start with. Roshan down to 5k. The VP, they need this. They need the Aegis as well as the Cheese if they can have any chance against LFY being too racked down against them. And it looks like for the moment, Roll for the Arthur. He jumps in. Where's the Aegis? He's dead. They're getting kind of low. Get the vision down. Roche is really low. And Sania, he walks into it. They get vision in the pit. Roche is super low. The snowball right on top of the He just it He does it again. Oh my god. Nisha did it to him. Although he's in the pit now. Well, how out can they take this fight? Nisha tries to get out. The shards is right away, but it's not going to be there. So they go. Snowball. Oh, no way! What? Okay, the tree, the tree. That's not enough. That's no not enough. Not the the no, that's player? enough. This is living. Yeah, yeah, and just like the lane setup too, right? So I think one of the hardest things about that hero right now is just trying to like get him started well. And he just got a 1v1 versus the face okay. really well, but he's in a little early here. Danger, danger. They're behind back on anti-mage for this too, but Aegis is about to go down. They pop it, the Chrono is down already. He's able to get to the other side. Kill Cash living. But now in some more trouble. Skewer has already been used and well, can they find any more afterwards? He stole it mid-flight, dude. Are you kidding me? Ember hasn't. What? Yeah, he Yo stole Pesh? it on the jump through. That what? was fucking sick. <laughs> oh my god, what a player! They're going in. They want to fight against the DD sniper. The, yeah, the Dragon Gen. Full rated. He, he got gets, it. He gets the Aegis. And now there's going to be a great team of the jump through as well. The back line she gets, so he gets the jump. The mana void get, comes out. Heritage, he's getting absolutely everything here in this game. King Shad rooted on two. Keeps hitting away. Oh. Clockwork looking for an angle. They have to be careful. The roll through catches him, and Zantic already gets the roll off. Stormstormer in BKB out. The banishment onto that Medusa. Shash forward. Who gets it? Stormstormer gets the Aegis. That's what they needed. Cat told me, though, he ends up dying, so it might not matter. No, Shad, he's in trouble, but the swap keeps him alive. Shad's still hurting. He doesn't have anything left in the tank. They're going to go for Roche. Timings may not work out. They've got the Hawk. They know that it's being taken, but they just can't get in there in time. Or can they? Chrono with Roche so low! He picks up the Aegis. He steals it away. They've got the Supernova down now. They're going to get the kill on Yoar as well as Quinn. That's absolutely out of this world! Because now he's popping BKB. He doesn't get anybody dead it's on this Chrono. But now he's got another one. He's got the refreshments on to everybody! The whole side of Quincy crew is locked up. The Chrono Spheres are popping from Arteezy! That is absolutely Beautiful. They gotta do something. Yeah, they need something that Fnatic can't do. They can't farm their ancients. Oh, they actually ancients are gonna. Oh my God, they're coming again. Yeah. How, how is he always on this timer? Oh no, he's not, he's not gonna make it again, is he? Yeah, he is. Oh my God, he's literally there again. I don't care about anything else in this game except seeing these ancients. And the tree and scout out that Roche is there. They're looking to jump into this one. Maybe is it gonna fall quickly enough? TPing in the oh, big you're jump. Me. Come on! What? Oh my God! Are okay, you all right. I'm done. Me? I'm done. Chewing, you monster! The side, Lanham just gets taken down immediately. Power Strike comes through. Dreamcore's there onto two as well. Paparazzi lays down the Chrono, holds back the two of them. Ori just trying to finish off Roche, but KP jumps in. The Warden nuking him down low. They are going to get the edges. snatch. KP gets the steal, and Nubia cleaning up. Triple kill for our CCC. They'll get Young Eleven as well as KP jumps forward, takes him down with the Illusory Orb. TP's starting to come back in. Lose those shrines. Oh, he's back in the pit. SCCC and KP going. Can he get KP again? snatches it again. A second time in the game. KP takes the Aegis. Now, at the back of last time, Newbie were able to win the fight off it. Can they do so again this time? They need more teammates. They're TPing over. Now they're looking to go back in. The Netherworld still stands. Ori jumping into the pit. KP is still around. The legendary Aegis Snatcher. He's ready for Rapid. Again. He does it again. KP with the third Aegis Snatch in this game. Oh my goodness, didn't they? They're gonna take the team fight off the back of it. Or he's oh, down no for buyback. two minutes. Die back on the uh, the Templar Assassin. Okay. Three Aegis snatches in one game. This counter about to reset, and now it is night, and they hunt. Jumping forward, but a beautiful cogs by MSS prevents the universe initiation. What's in the back? He's out of mana. They don't have a duel for this fight. NPC's opportunity rushing in. Fada there as well. There's the chains. 
No follow up just yet. The blinding light is going to force EG back Down. with no mana on the. Oh! oh he missed it! Oh! He's done it! Steals the Aegis, takes it away! Here in a second, though. They're moving on in. Does he pop the Shivas? Armel not popping the Shivas. They know this is going on. Oh. Pop the Shivas, Armel, please. He's, he's right there. He's ready to go. And Omo is doing this. Oh my god, they don't know. They don't know. They gotta be so careful here. They're ready to jump in a moment. They have a spot. Scout out now. He knows how low Roche is, as well as the TV illusion giving some good intel to Mail going in from the north. Ayo has a static storm, he can drop that on Roche. Nice blink, war is punch. He catches Zumail with the silence. Zumail needs to use his yules defensively. In goes Crit. He snatches the ages. Crit's done it. He's bought some time. They take out the tombstone to deal with this fight. It's going to be a dead undying, but they've lost Disruptor on the side as well as Tusk. It's EG. And right, TNC this, will be out together. Oh, they're going to TP in the Kotal. He's going to come check. Oh, now they're coming. Oh, oh no, can no. they? Can they steal oh, this? Oh, oh they're oh. the blinding light! Kezu! Shit. He's still got Ravage! Secret can control this! Oh. Roshan is so low! Gosh! Pai checking it out just in time! Puppy going forward with the lift onto Raven! Raven, he's gonna try and go for some sort of steal! Oh, oh, oh and he got it! He got it! He Raven got it. was able to pick up the Aegis! Secret! Oh they kind my of fat fingered it! Second. Expecting him to jump in there and grab that Aegis, but he ended up going through it and grabbing it. The kill on Ollie, how much is this really gonna matter at the end of the day? They'll buy back on the switch. Onslaught and looking over at Flyfly. JT's already getting himself a little bit low. They've got the dispose to get the kill on the GT. They'll take a BAB that without this Viper, they fought back, go to the Solar Guardian, and now they're gonna wait for more for Frisk. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh man, now Aegis and Cheese and give. Oh, dude, he doesn't even have to die now. So he can do the sponge play and just cheese. Oh, oh. KP. Okay, oh. He's still going for it. Wait. He's still oh. going for it. He gets oh, it. Oh, my the God. Roche kill, too. Damn. Oh, the saves. Wow. KP, God. Yeah, oh watching God. it out. The salvage. That was the aggressive bomb. Ready to go. Oh, oh boy. He's chewing through this Roche. Is he going for this? He's creeping in. And oh, there they go with the boat. The jump in, oh the Epi, the blast. Oh. It's gonna be the Radiant who get the Roche down, but it's gonna be Boboka who takes the Aegis. Him and Aggressive begin to swing things out. They're looking to go for the Koka to get it. That's the Rapier on the deck. Buy back on Koka. We're gonna pick it up. They're trying to run out. A buyback though, as you mentioned, and Newbie looking to swing it out, knowing that this is the end. Koka got his Rapier back. It's the crit. Going on hard. It's gonna be KP trying to run out the other direction, but it's IG holding strong, and it looks like it's gonna be IG who win this fight and potentially no the buy game. Back. What? Which clip's ready, guys? Oh. This could be it. Armel misses the arrow. The sun strike gonna give some vision, so now we can time it. He has a very good idea of when Roach is gonna go down. Sai. Poised to strike. Here comes the roll with a stun to follow up. He gets times it. it perfectly. Gets the last hit as well. Zai Dota dies immediately. Wraith King, though, the one who dies on the TNC side, side, does have reincarnation immediately. Arrow hits the DK as he goes blinking, and they kill the Husker. Wraith King's got no way to survive his second life. He's going to go down as well. And 33 somehow doesn't die. Zai with a magical little play again. I feel like they should be a little bit reluctant here. But it looks like they're going to go for it anyways as the Sank is going to lay it a out. Just a bold sandstorm and then Burrow strikes to the other side of Cliff, so they can't really stop him. Oh. And they're going to have to choose to fight for this Roshan underneath the sandstorm, constantly taking this damage. And the healing ward, he's actually going to wear out. So no, the damage is going to be consistent. But Cuckoo's very low on this side here. He's going to Burrow strike back in. Can he actually Who's got it? He gets it, Cuckoo! He steals the Aegis. And now, are they going to be able to get out of two-man LSA? Oh. Cuckoo's back in. Another Ever round of sandstorm. Again. Look at this, Magnus. He's dead as well. And you are had to just leave the fight. He's been caught by the Bedlam. He's gonna mant up, but Cuckoo catches them again with the epicenter. Cuckoo comes in clutch. Okay. No Dream Coil, no Elder Dragon form, Roar, Snap, uh, Mortimer's Kisses. I think they need to give it up. AA Blast will definitely try to shoot it, make stuff happen inside the pit to, just to check what's happening, and then they decide. Oh, Moon! He got he it! He got it! He got it! 
he stonks went straight to the moon after picking this one up. They're around it. Jumps out. They still have exorcism going down. Half HP on the Roche. The Bloodseeker right now. And now the X on the Sox. And they toss it back in. But then the X on X. And Mickey popped his PKB though. He thought he was being tossed back in. Oh, that is unfortunate. A weird mechanic. But it ends up being oh, 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 What the hell? What am I seeing? They can't really challenge. And they basically just gave away the Roche. Abed, is he trying to make the steal? Shiva's guard giving vision. He jumps right in. Sonic Wave, he gets the Aegis. Buyback on Mushi oh as well. Oh my god, no. Sonic Wave, he ate the refreshers on our bed. He is Superman right now. He's finally out of mana. He could only blink, but he's won this team fight for his team. Move over. This guy is the real superstar on this team. No, it isn't. Oh my god, Arcane Room for Brim Miracle as well. Blimey. It is a great room, but you are going to get RSI smashing those buttons. Percentage based damage, though. Repetitive stream injury. Very common in game. Yeah, but Miracle. Oh, the steal from Saberlight. Timber Chain through the pit. That was absolutely perfect. They killed this super fast, too. They've got they've got a dying, and he's got a solo crest, so this Roche is dead. So they can go for a steal, Mikey. He's in. Yes. He get, he's going to get it. He gets the snatch, Mikey. And no he gets way. the shard as well. Didn't quite get the kill, but he takes everything else. They've got to get it so quick, but this TD is falling so fast. Spirit, they will start things off with finding safe. Not a bad way to begin the action. Bane's gone. Safe has the buyback if he wants to pop it. Toronto, Tokyo has been caught out there by TM. PKB and Yul's up into the air. Collapse, he's never going to get the Aegis. He gets the, he the cheese as well. Collapse just walks in. Cheese, it's actually been left behind. He doesn't even want it. He starts to back away. Get the Josh gets fully focused by now. He got it. It's falling low. And he's in for the jump. XWY, he gets he's it. able to do it again. This time he gets the kill as well. The shard does get taken by Watson, but the kill on Roche and the Aegis, I mean, a second time. We got smoked on. Well, now you have an Aghanim Scepter on to Makoto, who has already been very hard for Nigma to actually do anything about besides ignore him for the most part. I mean, is he going to go for an Aegis deal or something? He's yeah, he's going to try. He's going to pop the He's going to go around. And he can finish it. He gets it. What? Nice. Well played, Makoto. Silver of health left. But, I mean, he's just gonna be used, but it's out of hands of Anthony. That's perfect. Yeah, he maybe... wants to try, but uh, <laughs> he's found. Yeah, maybe for a cheeky steal, but. Maybe. Oh, yeah. the Marcy goes in and he snatches it. Paula yes. takes it away. Raven is about to drop. He's gone. Execration what? surprised them. It's not even Shanks who goes in for the sacrificial play to get Roche for themselves, but instead he takes it. He takes the triple. Far is she? No enigma to worry about. He wants to try to move in. Roshan getting low. There's a sonic wave out. Thompson! He turns the ages away from MKS! Oh, here we go! Zephyr, he'll pop the overgrowth. Still RSG, they are winning this team fight. Thompson, he'll blink away with the rebound. Xiao Yu, he's having none of it. He wants to punish Thompson, but he's the one to go down. He just walks in! Gets ripped to shreds by the physical damage. Miracle's trying for the blade. Comes in. Can he do anything big? He gets the Aegis. He, can. he gets the Aegis and he gets the Roche kill. The stomp's down from FY. But Liquid, they want to fight with this one. BKB popped by Matuma Man. He's trying to move in. But the walls, the Necro Army keeping him back. Miracle's got the grab onto X Nova's Witch. Tucked up with the Earth is there. He has to be careful. He doesn't manage to duke it out. Miracle falling low. But he gets the kill. Aegis is popped. You're going to see maybe. Rubber for the setup. He's looking for the record timing. And bam! No, not quite got him. Miracle is able to zip out. Double Ravage, so EG kind of on the back foot here. Arrow, not going to hit, as Roche looks like it's going to go down here in just a moment. Can they steal it? But the Ravage comes out onto three heroes, but Abed snatches the Aegis. Will he get out successfully? No, the Aegis is down, and it looks like Tidehart is going to get bursted down by Arteezy. No, Saberlight somehow stays alive thanks to the Nightmare. Gets off the second Ravage as Tomato pops the BKB. Nightfall looks to be mega dead. The Cheese was also stolen by Abed. Very quick fingers from him. Get these catches. What a play. 
Unreal. And that all starts Ortiz, with... in. Wait, he goes in for everything. Ortiz, give me that damn you Aegis. Get it, I'm out of here, baby. Oh, Unreal. my God. The definition of Aegis <laughs> Steel. What a boss. He's like, all right, team, you guys made some mistakes. I'll make up for it. <laughs> oh, he deserves a tip from everybody in the game.